morning. Very cold, very, very cold. This morning, going to work, a new day, another day, another dollar, you know. <sighs> so this is the first week I started the volume training, which is kicking my sorry ass. I got to get used to it, but it's uh, it's a lot. It's actually pushing me a lot. So yeah. <sighs> Every morning is the same. We have to wait here for freaking twenty minutes because they are so freaking slow. The lights go green and they just sleep. So uh, I was saying about the training, I'm doing a push-pull leg split, but twice. And uh, I do it, for example, on Monday, I do chest, shoulders and triceps. On Tuesday I do back, biceps and rear delts. Wednesday I do legs and I focus more on hams, hamstrings and glutes. Thursday I have another push, but this time I start with the shoulders instead of starting with the chest. And Friday again chest uh fuck not chest <laughs> back same thing and saturday i do legs again and i focus on quads and all of that i do calves both leg days and abs both leg days and that's kind of it not really enthusiastic this morning. I'm tired, even though I slept well. So every morning I wake up, I take my vitamins and supplements, and I cook. Some days I do cardio, but this time I only do it three times a week, since I'm not in a cut anymore. I do cardio and as I said, I cook for the day. I'm gonna start my reverse diet. I did my uh, blood work last week. Everything was on point. I'm like a newborn. And we're gonna start the so-called off season. I shouldn't call it an off season since I didn't, <laughs> I didn't prep for any show. But people usually use this term, so, okay, an off-season. So, I hope this time, since last time I did an off-season, I went into a dirty bulk. This time I'm doing it clean and smart, with the help of my coach. And I hope to add a few pounds of lean tissue and as least fat as I can manage so in case I overreach with the diet I will do a mini cut later on that's how you actually keep in check and what else yeah starting some new supplements and I think this is gonna work. Fingers crossed. I was uh, watching last night, as I always do, a few podcasts because I always like 
to get informed. I'm a fan of some uh, some people online, and they were talking about this whole uh, off-season prep stuff because I was interested in this subject since I'm into it right now. And there are so many ways people do this stuff, but you can't actually um, take what someone else does because we are each different and we need to adapt things to our own. And uh, yeah, you can just copy a program or copy a diet. Yeah, you can. I don't know, you can inspire yourself from it, but you need to adapt it to yourself. And that's the gist of it. So don't try to copy, especially diets and um, trainings from genetic freaks, because you're not that. The average guy or girl, we're not gonna respond the same as those people do so keep it clean and have patience yellow so another day another dollar so to speak today is push day so Get some light and let's start moving. So we have a push day. We're gonna do chest. Ooh. So we're gonna do chest, shoulders, and um, triceps. New diet, new training, new supplements. Started um, a whole new... I was off a lot of supplements because I did my blood work, so I didn't took. Other than creatine and maybe some multivitamins, I didn't take anything. So now I'm starting the whole thing, you know, omegas. Um, multivitamins, some probiotics, maybe some enzymes later on if my digestion doesn't work as well. Although my diet is very nicely done. And um, what else? A bit of amino powder in the drink, in the intra-workout, but that's most for the taste because at my level it doesn't do much. So don't waste your money on that. Uh, Post-workout shake, although that's that got mixed reviews. If you watch the internet, I like to, to drink it because I like the taste of that caramel sweetness right after gym. And what else? Some sleeping aid like uh, tryptophan, melatonin, uh, GABA, it's a mix. Well, mostly those. Maybe later on, when I'm um, gonna start uh, adding more carbs, I might add some chromium and some uh, alpha lipoic acid, but I think that's it. Mm -hmm. I'm really in a good mood today. I slept well. I had a long weekend editing videos, but I was at home. I didn't do much other than sitting in the chair. So all my effort was here. But it's all worth it in the end, you know? So here we are at the gym, at the gym, at the gym. 
Let's see if I, if I get my partners to die. It. <laughs> and of course, there's no parking. Anyway, this is it for now. Boom. That's the firm one. Warm up. Why? My lower back locked up. You know, like it's cold probably. Last week it was my. You haven't done deadlift in a while, maybe that's why. That's why, that's why, exactly. I told, uh, I told my girl. Huh? Talk to the cops. No, because I can't have my deadlift. No, I'm not going to train that much. You haven't trained in a lot. He said that if you hurt yourself. Yeah. Damn, this is my first working set. Gotta do eight to ten. windshield white port fluid
Always get a shoulder pump first here. What you doing? Oh. Sure. One more. Shoulder is... Uh. No, it always happens like that. It gets really pumped. I think you do it by feels, like you stretch, don't stretch here. It's okay. Yeah, I know. Everyone's got their own. Yeah, then one of us would go heavier and then the rest would be criticizing because they couldn't do it. Like, yeah, I'll be informed and this and that. <laughs> yeah, that's the, the first thing. When you can push the weight, when you can push more weight, they start with a. Yeah, but that's not correct. And, um, but if you actually record their form on the exercise, nah, it's fucked up. <laughs> Way more fucked up than yours. Yeah, when you look at them, the ones that comment. Yeah, that's push. I felt that one. Nah. Well, that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> that's okay for views.
Another leg day. Warm up. So today we're gonna do some um, squats, some quads, and uh, some hams, maybe, and of course calves. I'm gonna show you the clown in action. There he is. Stretch, bitch. Ow. Oh. <laughs> Fuck. On that cup. Ah. I don't know what I did. I must have fell or hit myself or something. My tailbone hurts. Like, really. I know how. No, not from now, from a few days ago. I did something, but...
fucking hell. This shit is painful after that. It's painful. Yeah. Oh. When you do gay jokes, you have as much testosterone as a pregnant lady, so shut up. What? Don't I? Look at this shit. Freaking child. This is what you do. You know, you poke the bear and then you run away. See? Uh, No, we can do it. This one's gonna hurt. When you talk shit in the gym, gay. Fuck off. <laughs> Oh, shit talk, shit talk, shit talk, shit talk. So they want to do a chest press competition again. And this is leg day for me. So I'm not going to join, but I gonna, I want to see this. So much fun. This clown. Because this is Saturday and everyone likes to joke around on Saturdays. So, chess press competition. As I said, deadly competition. my hand
Here we go. Seven and a half. See that one. Go, 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 go! Tweety on the bar, Tweety on the bar! Go, Tweety! Go, Tweety! Ah, Tweety! Yeah, Tweety!
Stai prea mult jos și prea mici bara, zici că ai ADHD. Te-ai pus aici frumos, ai blocat, s-o cu de două ori așa. Asta e ideea, pentru că stai prea mult, prea o 